Hello gin lovers and welcome back to No Nonsense Gin Reviews with me Bobby Freeman in this the second in my series of Australian gin videos courtesy of Mr Craig Stowers of course who has sent me a lovely package of Australian gin and today we're going to be featuring this rather scary looking fellow which is called Billy Goats Gin which doesn't sound particularly scary but however it does feature sort of a, a demonic looking goat on the front of the bottle there which is I think demonic looking goats should be uh, used more often in marketing campaigns. I don't know why they're not. So if there are any marketing people watching, you can have that one. You're welcome. Right, let's not funny around. Let's get straight into this one and see what they say about it. Now, as you know, I do like to do the description in the accent from where the gin is from. Now, I've been doing these gin Australian ones in Australian accents, but I thought maybe I could try this one in the style of a goat. So here we go. Okay, stop, 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 stop. So, yeah, oh, all right. It, it was a nice idea, but I think even by my standards, that's a stretch too far. So I think we'll just stick to the Australian accent. Three billy goats tried to cross the river, but a fierce troll under the bridge would not let them pass. The oldest goat, in all his wisdom, offered him some gin, and as fate would have it, the troll forgot about the goats. The goats crossed over to the lush pastures and settled down to drink some good gin. Our Queensland small batch gin is handcrafted using a unique selection of old and new world botanicals. We've combined Australian wheat spirit with the freshness of ruby red grapefruit, lemon myrtle and native Australian finger limes for a vibrant citrus burst. And looks like that's all they've got about it on the website so there's only one thing left to do and that's to jump straight into it my friends. All right then let's get the little beauty open shall we so we get that off now then. The big question is do we have a cork test or is it a screw top? Is it? Hang on. It's a cork, my friend. It's a cork, so we know what that means. There's a bit of a hiatus there, a bit of a dramatic pause, but it doesn't matter. It is the, the, the very first Australian cork test. So here we go. Does it have a squeak? No squeak. It doesn't matter. We don't worry about the squeak too much on this show. So we'll go for the full pull. Here we go. It's a tight one. It's looking good. Oh, it's a beauty of a cork test. I like that very much. Not a natural real cork. I was hoping I could put a few of those around my old hat. But never mind. That's a bit of a stereotype. Throw that bugger over there. Right. Let's get him in the glass and have a little sniff of the fella, shall we? Ah, uh, here we go. I'll, I'll drop the Australian accent for a bit. So here we go. Ooh, it smells... It's, <laughs> just, I was going to say it smells a bit like a goat, but that doesn't sound very fair, does it? No, it's what I mean is... It's an extremely strong sense, but it's one of those kind of um, sort of peppery ones that I think it's sort of rich in the coriander, I think. So, did it say coriander? I don't know, but uh, 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 but I'm getting a kind of a more of a smoothness as well, sort of a vanilla -y, sort of probably that bit of licorice as well, the licorice root, which goes in a lot of gins. It's reminded me a little bit, do you remember the Lone Wolf up there? Quite a peppery tasting gin, but quite sort of nice with it. I think it's probably going to be along those lines. So, let's marry her up with the tonic, shall we? I don't know why I've started keeping the tonic down there. Uh, so, that's a nice little amount. So, get the tonic in there. Whoops, we've lost the lid. Don't worry about it. I'll sort that out later. Stick him in there. That might be quite a strong one, but I'm having it a lot stronger now because a lot of people say I should have it neat as well. And I will try this neat as well. So here we go. The Billy Goats Gin, all the way from Australia. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know why, that, 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 ignore that last sound. That was, that was irrelevant, but wow. Okay, this is a unique gin. Very, very, very different from the old ink gin which I tried last time. Couldn't be more different. I did wonder if all the Australian gins might be quite a sort of a similar vibe, but definitely not. It couldn't be more different. Let me have another go. Hell. Oh my god, there's loads going on there. It's packed. It's just jam packed. The flavors are all just jostling for each other, just elbowing each other out the way. So me first, me, 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 me. But it puts me in mind of one of those, it's, it's a very complex flavour, as I say, a lot of that sort of pepperiness coming through, a lovely bit of smoothness, slight vanilla -y as well, just surrounding it, but sort of strong, spiky sort of flavours. And it puts me in mind of the old, um, what's it called, Drum Shambo Gunpowder Gin. That was very big and packed with flavours and quite peppery as well. Not so you're t kind of like the low more, but I'd say I'd, I'd border it, sort of veer more towards that way. Let me have another little go. 
but it's nice though. I'd say it's slightly not as potent as that one. It's just kind of does it in a sort of a, a oh, they're sort of big jagged flavors, but they're not too big and jagged. They're just the perfect amount of jaggediness. And they, oh, it's definitely, I think this is gonna, gin that, gonna be a gin that works better with the tonic. Let me try it neat. I'm, I'm, I do apologize again. I'm always swinging out the bottle like an absolute heathen, but don't worry about it. I'm the one, uh, I'm the one who'll get in trouble. You were just watching, don't worry. Right, so. Ho 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 ho! Yes, even more so of those flavors. That pepperiness has really come into the forefront. I don't think I'd enjoy this one neat, but if you are a neat gin drinker, and I know uh, uh, there are many of you, um, you, I think this one's gonna be an absolute adventure for you. It kind of, uh, I love how the label reflects how the gin gonna, is gonna taste. It's sort of a slightly sort of badass, sort of uh, almost sort of evil, strong nature, and that's exactly what the gin is. It's, it's it makes no apologies for itself. It's brash and it's big, sort of harsh flavors. So I think uh, uh, a lot of the times it can be. Sometimes it can be misleading the label, but this time I've got that's got that bang on. So price wise, again, as with the previous Australian gin, it's not cheap. I'm led to believe that for my subscribers, that gin is not cheap in Australia. So this will set you back 72 Australian dollars, which is about 37 pounds, 44 euros, 49 uh, American dollars. But I think as far as I'm aware from what I see on the internet, it's only available in Australia anyway. So this little fellow will set you back 72 of your finest Australian dollars. ABV wise, it's I think it's 42% that it said it was, 40... 42% again perfect just about the right sort of uh, sort of level you want to be at but um again if you want to be pushing the boat out and uh if you are in Australia, it, it, to be honest, it sounds like you've got to push the boat out, whatever you want. If you want some gin, you've got to push that boat a little bit further. But I would, uh, of the two, of the two I've tried already, I'd probably, if I was pushed to pick one of them, I'd probably still go for the ink one. That was spectacular. I really, really liked that. I like this and I admire it, and I certainly would not be unhappy if someone served it to me, but I'd probably at the moment go for this one. That's my top tip for you today. Go for the ink, not the goat. Okay guys, that is another Australian gin down. So if you've liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as always. Press that little like button and the bell icon so you get notified when all my videos come out. And I will quite literally see you all next time on No Nonsense Gin Reviews where I shall be Bobby Freeman. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.